One of the things you can do to your videos to add a little pizzazz is add camera movement. But here's the kicker. What if you're a solo video creator like I am and you don't have anybody running your camera? It's easy to do by faking the camera movements. In fact, it doesn't even matter if you're shooting this with your iPhone. It's really easy to do. And here's the trick. I've been showing you all the, the tricks and all the moves you can do so far. So let me break down each one. You'll see how easy it is. And you could apply one or all of these to your next video just to prove that no one else is helping me shoot this. This is my setup right here. I'm shooting uh, this on my M50 Mark II and this is my iPhone. So this is the setup and I'm just showing you so you can see ain't nobody helping me but me. Sounds like a country song. The first one we're gonna look at is zooming in. And so just here's some B-roll I rolled earlier. What I'm gonna do is you come up here to position and it doesn't really matter where you wanna go, but we're gonna put a, a keyframe right here. And this is important because that's gonna tell us to be at 100%. And let's just say we go through like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I went ahead 10 frames. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna exaggerate it just so you can see the difference right there. And that's all I'm gonna do at this point. So let me expand this just a little bit more. We're gonna go here and watch it right here. There. It's that simple. So I'll play it again, just in case you didn't see it. And so all it's doing is we're just telling it via keyframes to zoom in right there. Okay, so now I wanna show you what like a zoom out would be. I'm gonna set a marker here. And by the way, you do that with an M and that way it's just easy to know that, oh, right there, we wanna do something. So right here, I'm gonna drop a keyframe and we're gonna say we're gonna zoom in to let's just say again we're gonna exaggerate hundred and thirty percent you can type it in and so right now if you notice it's gonna stay at hundred and thirty percent but let's just say like right in there I want to zoom out well we're gonna add a keyframe and I'll go ahead and add one here I mean I, I don't really need it and I can just I can type in hundred or I can type in uh, or I can bring it down just manually, but this is easier. So right here, watch, and it zooms out. Now, if that's too slow, all you've got to do is just move the keyframe back to say right here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to that keyframe we just did, and I'm going to reset the parameter there and reset the parameter there. And then we're going to go here and let's say right here, again, we're going to set a keyframe and we're gonna go in like 100 and let's really just make it 100, like 150, 49, there we go. And let's say I wanna go in uh, five frames. I usually just count ahead five frames and then I will drop a keyframe and then I'll tell it to go exactly where I want it and then watch what happens. It will be faster there. And that's all you gotta do. So now we're looking at the pan right or left, however you wanna look at it. So I'm this time I'm using my sidekick Batman. So let's say right there on my silly expression, I want to pan right. I'm gonna put a marker there and we're gonna add a keyframe and we're gonna add position keyframe because this is uh, uh, important for that. So we're gonna go ahead, I'll just do five or six. It doesn't really matter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale in just a little and then think of the X as your horizontal and the Y as you're up down and watch what happens. So when I go this, there. And if you don't like that little hitch, you can change it. But if you notice, I'll go back just a tad and you see the difference, right? Here we go. Come on, come on back, come on back. There we go. And again, you can zoom way in if you want to. A very simple effect. And if you want to, let's say you wanted to even zoom in more from there, set a keyframe, set a keyframe, and we'll go ahead another just few and we're gonna go way in and we're gonna go way over and then watch what happens. So we'll play this and it does this and that. The next one is an effect that comes built in with Final Cut Pro and it's called handheld. It's really easy to do. Now again, I'm gonna go to this angle just so you can tell 
I am not holding the camera, but you can actually fake it. So right now it could look like, I, you know, I'm doing a vlog, tile, vlog type, a vlog type style video, but I'm really not. I'm just kind of faking it and I'm using the handheld effect. And again, I'm shooting this with my iPhone so you can actually see, I feel like Zach King, that I'm not touching the lens, a free effect that comes built in with Final Cut. Another way is to do a jump cut. Now I can hear it right now in the comments, somebody's going, Kevin, that's not really a camera movement, that's more like an edit. Yeah, technically, but it's still adding some movement, something extra to your shot, especially if you're just doing a talking head. Remember, I'm not moving right now, I'm stationary. You can do jump cuts that step in. I've done that before when I'm emphasizing a point, I really want to make sure I punch in. So those are some easy ways you can add movement to your video that won't cost you anything. And if you're shooting by yourself, <laughs> it really comes in handy. Did I miss one? Have you got a favorite move that you do by yourself? You know, camera wise, not like, hello, how's it going? Well, drop that down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Keep creating. See you next time.